Hi everyone. Well, today is the 1st of June 2017 around 12.20 p.m. Uh, Nifty completely flat, down by just uh, 1.2 uh, points, 1.9 points. Bank Nifty is dragging the markets a little bit down 80 points. Well, uh, I take this opportunity to create, create a quick video on the concept of opening lows and opening highs. I dedicate this uh, quick video to one of my students, Girish, who wants to know about the basic concept of how to trade the days when the prices open at the low of the day or opens at the high of the day. Well, uh, quickly, uh, Girish, for you and for everyone, opening lows is a case where when you have a candlestick and the open of the day is essentially equal to the lowest point. When will we have a situation like this where we have quite strong bullish sentiment in that stock and the price where it opens it never looks back and shoots up and heads northward. The mirror image of an opening low is that of an opening high where you will essentially get into a candle like this where the opening price of the day is essentially equal to the highest point. So right at the beginning, right when the market opens, uh, there's an inbuilt bearish sentiment, probably selling in terms of fresh short or probably selling in terms of profit taking, whatever be it, the opening price of the day is also the highest point and it sets in a tone for the day towards the downside for the market. How do we get to see these charts? Let me show you. Um, well, this is the Fox Trader platform provided by the reliable uh, software guys. Uh, a link of this software I will uh, give below at the description. Well, this is the Nifty uh, daily chart. I'm using multiple Bollinger Bands and the template that I have over here gives me the event watch and this is the one that I'm talking about, the market watch. I essentially look at the um, 190 odd futures uh, stocks and indices. Over here, if you notice, they have a section called the candle pattern. Uh, there are few candle patterns that will uh, pop up within this universe of stocks. The ones that we are interested in in this video is that of the white open shaven bottom. All right. So these are the stocks within that universe which satisfy that condition. Let's take a look. So we have Apollo tires and this is the daily chart of Apollo tires. And as I zoom in, I notice that the lowest point is 231.55 and that is also the, low, uh, the lowest point of the day. Okay, 226.05 open and low 226.05. Now, let me, you know, drill you from the daily chart down to, let's say, the 15 minute chart. And as you notice, this is the 15 minute chart which shows a nice move on the upside. In fact, it will be good if we go to this list. As we come to this list, you will notice that whenever we have an opening low, there is a high tendency for that day, the stock to keep a momentum on the upside. The mirror image of that is black open shaven head. Now these have a tendency to stay on the downside. Now let's say it's around 12.30 p.m. and we have one, two, three more hours to go in today's trade. Let's look into, let's say, Container Corp. It's down close to a percent. So I double click. I get here the chart of Container Corp. Always, it's always good to check in the daily chart whether the criteria meets or not. And I notice over here the high is 1175.35. Um, so it's the open. So fine, I got an opening high. And it tells me that from here on, uh, it's already down a percent, but there is a high tendency for today to stay on the downside. It may fall, but the momentum is likely to stay on the downside. So I come to my 15 minute chart. The, the idea is in your shorter time frames, if you get any kind of sell signals, then you would rather take it because the higher time frames is suggesting that it's likely to stay weak. Now, how do we take a trade in this 15 minute chart? Well, there are various types of strategies that you can adopt over here. I get a sell signal close to, okay, let's start, let's go to the first, yeah, so here we are. So this is the first 15 minute candle for the day. We get an opening high 
And this was the previous, suppose as you can see, once, twice, thrice, multiple times the stock had given support over here. Once this support breaks, we get a quick move, short bounce back, and now it's trying to get up as it goes deeply oversold and it's out of my uh, alert zone. You see my red zone, that's the alert zone. So uh, multiple times intraday it has given twice that is a possibility of a sell. Let's look into one more example on the, on the upside this time. Let's come over here. Let's me change the pattern from the weak one to the positive one. The positive one is wide open, all right? And I noticed that a lot of stocks have moved fairly well. Let's take something which has not moved so far. So I have, let's say I come to Bata India. Let's see how does this look. Okay, so Bata double click takes me to the Bata chart. I go to the daily chart first. Now as I come to the daily chart, I see that uh, it is an opening low. It's already going up for three, four days now. It's actually entering my trend zone. I'm not too keen on this kind of charts because it's actually essentially on a downtrend because it's below my uh, the amber uh, color band. Um, Let's look into Godrej Industries. I would essentially would, yeah, this looks nice. Godrej Industries is in a nice uptrend, though it's entering my alert zone. Let me check, will this allow us a short term quick trade for today? Well, there is an opportunity here. Uh, why we say this? Because I see a pinch with my Bollinger Bands. It's kind of getting into a squeeze. Um, I see my bias indicator, which is this stared white line, which is close to that 615 level. So if I get a breakout, Above the 615 mark, there is a possibility of a quick trade uh, considering a stop loss close to that 607, so around 8 point stop loss. It's not confirmed yet. So the idea, uh, everyone and especially Girish for you, is when we have an, a list of stocks, we can get this at around 930, where we have an opening lows, we should keep this list and look for a possible quick short term intraday buy. Mind you. These trades are short term and they are intraday. On the other hand, uh, you can look for those which are weak. So those will give you black open shave and head. These are possibilities of a short on the downside. As we speak for the last, let's say, seven, eight minutes, we notice that our events, event watch has gone all red. So the index is actually coming off alongside quite a few stocks. Um, there you go. When we started the video, Index was flat two points and Nifty is down around 26 points now. Let's see how does it look. There you go guys. Nifty's come off in the 15 minute chart with two long red candles. Bank Nifty selling off over 100 points now. And yes, three consecutive red candles. So there you go guys. Opening highs and opening lows. Quick list you'll get at 9.30 which will give you a list of stocks for intraday buys. That's your opening lows. And uh, intraday sells that's your opening highs thank you and trade well trade wise